everyone, welcome back to Cotto Verdi. There's a storm outside, it's now Storm Franklin. We've had someone like Douglas and Eunice and now we've got Franklin today. But I knew that there was something special happening in my nursery and I wanted to go and grab it to show you. Ta-da! So for any of those of you who don't recognise this leaf here and this particular flower, this is an anemone. And I've discovered that by leaving some anemone bulbs in pots because I just didn't get around to taking them out and putting them into storage, that my anemones in pots go through the winter and they're flowering in February. It's February the 20th. And look at the stem length on that. Look at the stem length on that. I mean, that's huge. These aren't quite so huge, but that's because I didn't wait for them to open. I wanted to save them before they got battered by any more rain, because in fact, in actual fact, there was one taller than this, but all its petals had been damaged by the rain that we've had from the storms recently. So I thought I'm gonna save these and I know they're just purple flowers and if it hadn't been raining so hard I would have run to get some eucalyptus to put in the vase but I'm going to choose a little bud vase now to put these in and I will enjoy them in my kitchen as they open up. So we're in my utility room and this is my cupboard of bud vases. Ta -da. So I literally have shelves of bud vases here and I just need to choose something that will set these off. I could put them in like a little jug, that would be quite sweet, but I think I want something taller and with a narrower stem. And I mean this is cute, how cute is that, like a smoky grey, I think that would look nice. I'm going to have to cut the taller one down. Or, I mean, I could choose a really tall one. That's too big. Or a little glass one like this. No. a really little one like this and I could just have the three anemones poking out of the top but I think my first choice was the best I think I'm going to go for this one and I'll be able to put some eucalyptus in there when the storm dies down some other greenery. These are my Falco three one O's. I love these. I'm just going to cut it to there, I think. See how that looks. There we go. I think these are going to look particularly good there because they're next to this gorgeous plant that's got purple underside to the leaves. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today as I picked my first anemones of the year, February the 20th. They're absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for all the rest of them to grow. It's going to be an amazing display and I will take you along with me. 
If you've enjoyed this tiny little snippet into my life today, then do subscribe to my channel and follow along because I'll post more videos through the year and show you what I'm up to. So subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications every time I post something. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.